a woman leader, I used to be to see how men are suffer, suffering at the grassroots level, doing all, all household chores, while men are busy socializing at the shopping centers. In my community, the main activity in, is charcoal burning, such that trees are all cut all over the villages. That when it rains, there is intensive soil erosion. Women took a lot of time fetching for firewood in long distance, and they, and this make them they make this make their work very difficult due to this cutting of trees, which are which had made rainfall very minimal, and uh, this has resulted to women fetching water long distance. Following the above challenges, I saw it wise to bring women together from all sorts of works to practice to practice for tree planting through establishing tree nurseries with our home within our homesteads. The trees we planted in our homesteads, in our schools, in our churches and all public in institutions. Through this initiative, our women started being self employed because they could sell the seedlings to those who did not have the trees they planted they planted the trees they planted the trees they planted can be used to attract rainfall as and then and then as firewood and this has reduces the 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 walking of long distance to to, to me women uh, more trainings i got from works and where where they invited me for a training in Nairobi and kakamega respectively I want to thank them very sincerely for their good work in seeing all women are strengthened to take over the role of restoring our, our climate. What keeps me going is how our women used to suffer in the, in, the, in, the, in the recent years. When I came up with this initiative, I saw the, the women are now coming up. They can plant the trees on their own, they can sell them, they can change their environment, and thus their work is reduced. Most of the women do not take over the, the planting of trees seriously. Mm -hmm. When women are doing that, they say they are, they are covering up much land where they can use that land for planting other, other, other crops. But as today, as we, we are speaking, following various uh, trainings and uh, capacity building among women, every, everybody is in the village can put up a tree nursery on, 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 his, on her own in a village. We have kitchen gardening and all men now come up to support us. As I said, when uh, I had that, 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 that uh, mindset of bringing up women, but more trainings I got from works and where, where they trained me in Nairobi and then called me in Kakamega. After that, we formed various groups with women groups. Those groups used to plant their main activities, planting of trees, and this has made every woman to be engaged in tree planting. As a, as a woman leader, I have, I'm, I'm manning a sublocation whereby we have various women groups. Mm -hmm. My, the, the one I, I am a member is called Ruma Conservation Women Group. We have others like Rainbow Women Groups. We have others like uh, Kabura Women Group. I used to put men, women in groups of 15 to 20. And those groups, and those groups I told them to start up a women group so that they can visit that group and then their, their main activity is planting of trees only. There's a great change because everybody has a tree nursery in his or her home states. Trees are sold in markets, trees are planted in schools by women, and then there are those, those, those stakeholders that we work with, like the World Vision, the Wear and, and Works. We work with the various stakeholders to see that all women are engaged in tree planting and everybody in the community as a whole. My experience has been that uh, women are ready to come up and change the environment except in, in, there are some taboos in our community that says that women do not access to planting of trees. But as, we, as I continue sensitizing them, elaborating to them, teaching them, now the, the men are also ready to do what we are, we are doing. Okay. My favorite part of the problem is to change our climate, to see that all the lost soil erosion, the eroded soil erosion, the, the cut off trees are planted again and uh, we see to it that we have a green environment as, as it was earlier. The program has helped me a lot. Being a woman leader, 
I get, I have got information from the training, experience from the training from our, our, our fellow women, how they do it in their part, so that I can, I go and translate what I have got from the tra training to sensitize my women and to uplift them up. My dream in my community in the future, I want before I retire, I want to see the green environment in my area. I want to see everything green. What has been making my work easier is one is networking and collaboration. I've been networking with other women from all over Kenya. Two, whenever I, I come from a, a training, I call all women in a, in a workshop. I also train them what I've learned in the workshop there. I give them and then we see how to move way forward. Three, I've, I've lobbied with all men in my sublocation that they can let women do what we are doing. Because what, what we are doing is recognized by the government. It's not an, 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 an offense. And therefore, every, every man in the community can also accompany us in doing what we are doing. Having a broader network with women to have because we used to get visitors from all over. Like last time we were visited by, by Madam Stella and Madam Claire. They came and visited our group. They talked to women, they encouraged them. So those women say, feel that whenever, whatever I was telling them, it's just something that everybody knows in the, in the whole country. This has made all the women in the in a, in to trust in me. Whenever I go out for a training, when I, when, I come, when I come back, I call them. They come in good number and then they listen to what I'm telling them.